Hi guys, James here from Wiggle and today we're going to be having a closer look at some of the key features of Garmin's new GPS smartwatch, the Instinct Solar. So Garmin have been making some fantastic GPS equipment for a long time now and their smartwatches are really class leading. So for those of you familiar with Garmin smartwatches, the Instinct Solar is almost like a basic Phoenix series. So the Phoenix is their kind of flagship smartwatch with all the bells and whistles. So it's got all the basic features you'd want from a sports smartwatch, but without some of the top end features that you'd see in the Phoenix range. Although it does have some really nice features that make it even better. So firstly, let's unbox this and see what you get inside. So obviously you get the main watch unit here. You get the classic Garmin charging watch cable, which is ideal as you don't want to have another new cable so you can't charge elsewhere, or if you and your family have got some of the same watches, you can carry on charging them off the same cable. And you get a few fairly small, but quite girthy little manuals there that let's face it, we're probably never going to look at. And that's all that's in the box. So the first big new feature in the Garmin Instinct Solar is in the name. So the whole circular face of the watch here can actually work as a solar panel, charging up the watch in your day-to-day -day life. So when it comes to the solar display, the technical term to actually call this is a photovoltaic display, which means that it can change energy from the sun and turn it into battery life on the watch, obviously. But the screen actually has different levels of voltaic levels on different parts of the screen. So the outer ring where you can see it's a bit more mirrored and shiny actually has 100% photovoltaic, which means it converts 100% of the sun's energy into battery in the smartwatch. But as well as that, you've got the digital screen area inside, which has a 10% photovoltaic level, which means it converts 10% of the sun's energy into battery into the smartwatch. So something really nice to take away from this is the Phoenix 6, which is the flagship smartwatch only has a one millimeter ring photovoltaic area around the clock face. So this has got a substantial increase over, over the flagship watch, which is again, a really nice touch. So the way to see the solar screen on the watch is more of a boost to your battery life as opposed to not having to charge it at all. So Garmin being Garmin, you get to see the nitty gritty stats, which is something that I really love about it. So if you're actually interested in how much your watch face is charging the watch over the day, you can actually see it on this line graph on the screen here. So the peaks along this graph actually represent where the watch face has been in direct sunlight and has been charging at 100%. And that actually shows the activity over the last six hours of use. And then if you wanna see this in even more detail, you just click this button once and it shows you the solar intensity graph just on a larger scale there. So on this screen as well, in the small circular section here, you can actually see the solar intensity that's coming into the watch as we speak. And although here in England we don't get that much sun, I will cut away to a shot outside and show you what that looks like with a bit of sun on it. So as well as being able to look at the information on the small screen on your wrist, you can connect it up to Garmin Connect on your smartphone. You can have a look at all the graphs and granular information on a much bigger screen, which is really nice. So Garmin looked at a lot of the feedback you gave them and have now given us the option for a power management system straight inside the watch. And this has come at the perfect time because the watch is quite feature heavy now. So what this does is gives us the ability to create custom profiles in the watch interface so we can actually program the watch to have optimum battery life and functionality for each individual sport or use that you're actually given the watch at the given time. So if you hold down the middle button here, and then drop down to settings and then drop down all the way to power management. And then as you can see there, you've already got the, the max battery option, which if we have a closer look at, will turn off basically all the key features and then give you maximum battery life as you can see up in the, in the circular mini screen up there in the top right hand corner. So it's with these settings on that Garmin say that this watch will actually never run out of battery. And the only requirements that Garmin say is that it needs to have about three hours of average sunlight on the solar screen every day. So now if we go back a screen, we can go to the power mode section, which is a feature that was introduced to the new Garmin Phoenix range. So that's trickled down into the Instinct range now, which is really nice to see. And that comes with a few preloaded profiles that we can look at already. So what's really handy is you can actually change the features on the watch if you're running low on battery 
or you can change the features on the watch depending on what sort of sport you're doing at the current time, which is really nice. So a really good example of this is if you were tracking your data mid hike and you thought that the battery might not last, you could go into the settings and for example, turn the heart rate monitor off that would give you half a day's extra battery and therefore you'd be fine to record all the crucial data that you needed for that hike. So some of the pre-installed profiles that we've got is we've got max battery, which basically turns ultra track on, which means that it, the GPS signal won't be tracking you quite so frequently, although it should still be fairly accurate. And it also turns off the heart rate monitor and stuff like this. So it's gonna give you the basic functionality of the watch that you need to track your data, but it will give you more battery and you can see the battery change up here in the small circular screen in the top right hand corner of the watch. And then you've got jacket mode just beneath it, which is basically if you're gonna be wearing the watch over a waterproof jacket, it won't have the heart rate monitor on, so it won't be burning battery, just trying to get data that it can't get through, obviously, a waterproof jacket. And then you get the option to create your own custom profile as well as the ones that are pre-installed. So I've created one here, and I'll quickly scroll down some of the options that you get to choose. So you get to choose the GPS, phone, wrist heart rate options there, the pulse oximeter, the map, the display, the backlight options, the accessories that are paired up to it. So there's a lot more options inside them, but you can really customize it to exactly what you want. So after talking about all the battery savings you can have in the watch and the battery charging from the solar screen, now's a great time to talk about the actual hugely increased battery capacity in the new Instinct Solar, which is one of the best new features about the watch itself. So the original Instinct smartwatch in its normal mode would last for 14 days and the Instinct Solar is claiming that it lasts for 24 days with an added 30 days depending on how much extra sunlight that that watch face sees. So without the solar aspect at all, the new Instinct Solar actually lasts for 10 days longer than the old watch, which is a huge increase. So in GPS mode, the original Instinct lasted for about 16 hours, but the new Instinct Solar lasts for 30 hours, and then that's with an added potential eight hours with sunlight on the screen. So a huge difference there, which is really, really good to see. So you might wonder how a watch that looks so similar to the old unit can have such a large battery capacity. And one of the main reasons for that is the fact that they've actually changed the heart rate monitor. They call it the new Elevate heart rate monitor. And that's actually one of the main reasons why the battery life in the watch is so much better because it is a, it's a much more power efficient unit, as well as actually delivering some really nice metrics, which they didn't have in the old model. So the Elevate monitor is in all of Garmin's flagship products, as well as most of their new watches that are being brought out at the end of 2019 and during 2020 now. So as well as being much more power efficient than the old Instinct watch from 2018, the new Elevate sensor can actually do pulse ox, which is a really nice touch in the watch. So I'll pop the watch on now and you can see how this actually works. You can see you drop down the menu here until you get to the pulse ox and then it will refresh when you're on this screen. Get the spinning dial there whilst it's getting the information. If you quickly lift the watch up, you can actually see the sensor is actually red when it detects this. It just takes a few moments to actually gather this data. And it's just worth noting that using this is actually quite a power hungry feature. So keep that in mind when you're doing it. And there you have it, that's another health metric that you can keep an eye on. And another really amazing touch that blows my mind slightly is that the heart rate monitor is actually fully functional underwater as the whole watch is actually 100 meters water resistant as well. So as the Instinct Solar is a smart sport watch, it actually has some really nice metrics to help you follow your health. So as well as the Instinct actually having really good battery life, it has something called body battery life, which is basically monitoring the battery inside your body. So it does this by using heart rate variability, stress levels, all the sleep indications that it gets when you're sleeping. And this actually gauges when you're at your max performance and also when you need to give it a rest and calm down a little bit. So the Instinct Solar carries over all the connectivity that you used to have in the old watch also. So this goes from everything, every notification that you basically get coming through on your phone will buzz through on the watch itself and give you a notification where you can actually read what's coming through. So some people will love this feature or some people will just want to get outdoors and turn it off. That's completely up to you. 
but something that might interest you is you can actually track your dog with this with an Alpha or Astra device. So you can actually get notifications come through about your dog and its whereabouts, which is pretty cool. So all in all, some really nice upgrades to the Instinct. And if you're the sort of person that always feels that your smartwatch is running out of battery, then this could really be the one for you. Let us know what you think about the watch in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.